banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. Welcome to a very special classic game room because this is the first CGR review of a game on the Arcadia 2001. It's Escape, which is a delightful combination of Berserk and Yars Revenge. Enjoy. From 1982, back when 2001 was the future, it's Escape on the Arcadia 2001 from Emerson. I still have an Emerson radio somewhere. They're still around. Sadly, they don't make this anymore, though. Come on, get out of there! Yes! I have escaped. It's the name of the game. There were a lot of game systems released that year in the US, including the ColecoVision and the Vectrex. Sadly, none of them lasted very long commercially at the time, although I would say the Vectrex is doing better now than ever. The Arcadia 2001, on the other hand, has pretty much sunk into obscurity, and that's a shame because it has a fine wood grain finish, and it's kind of neat. I think there were only about 30 or 35 games released for it. Escape is one of the better ones, which really does remind me of Berserk mixed with Yars Revenge. It's not as good as either of those games, but it's fascinating. Can you all tell how my little guy up here, the running guy, changes directions? When I change directions, it's a nice little touch. Your objective in the game is to escape. In fact, it's also the title of the game, not to be confused with No Escape on the Atari. And one of the things I love about this is that if you lose the instruction manual, the directions are on the back of the game cartridge. Not only does Escape claim to be fun for all the family and feature great sound and color, but the enemies are simply referred to as they. Or them, basically, your enemy in escape is the man. That's right. I'm escaping from this cursed hellhole. Down with the man, we're escaping. It's amazing how relevant this game is. As we escape one level only to find ourselves in another, facing even more of they. You don't fool me with your zigzag pattern. I'm giving you the finger as I run by. Oh, oh. Like so many other old school game systems from back in the day, the Arcadia's weak point is its controller. It's really hard to aim in this game. Yeah! Like Berserk, if you can kill all the enemies on screen, you get a sweet bonus. If you escape, you score 100 points. You'd think escaping from the man would be worth more points, but do you ever really escape the clutches of the man? He's always there, spinning in the middle of the screen, and occasionally, erratically, lashes out at you, and usually misses. Long bomb! Oh! Escape isn't a bad game, but like many of the not-so-high-profile releases from the era, it's not terribly complex. In fact, if anything, the Arcadia 2001 kinda reminds me of the Magnavox Odyssey 2 with a ColecoVision controller. According to Wikipedia, there's a game called Escape from 1982 on the ZX Spectrum. I did it again. The ZX Spectrum. I'm not sure if there's any relation. It has a dinosaur on the cover, so perhaps the man is a dinosaur. Or at least an evil computer. One or the other. I'll do a full review of the Arcadia 2001 soon. I've got a bunch of games for it, and it's pretty cool. I've also got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to Alex from Lansing, Michigan. Thank you for sending this to the show. And thank you to my friend Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey, for fixing the controller. The Arcadia works well, but the controllers are terribly cheap. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Oh, it hit my shoulder! That shouldn't kill me, it should just blow my little Arcadia 2001 arm off. Come on! 
Also, like Berserk, if you touch the electrocution death walls, you die. The hard part is making it past the spinning thing without getting shot or running into one of the enemies. Its, its aim is awful at long range, but it has a much better chance of hitting you if you're standing right next to it. So time your run appropriately or face the consequences. There is no escape from escape. We go back. I love the added little touch that your extra guys are doing the running man with you. Except you're not really running in this game, you're just slowly strolling about. If you're really going to escape, you should invest in a scooter. So thanks again, Alex. Let's get you up there on the map. There you are. There's no escape from escape, except possibly more Vectrex. Ho oh, ho, you tried to shoot my foot, but you missed. If you're gonna buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Let's thank these Patreon backers, starting with Jeff Breyer, Jeff Breyer, Derek Langley, Derek Langley, Michael and Ariana Nelson, Michael and Ariana Nelson, Michael Fernandez, Michael Fernandez, Stephen Chucknick, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Rick DeBarros, Jason. Goy. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot Cunny. Oh, hot Cunny. Ian Shore. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva dos Santos Silva. Tiago Pereira dos Dos Santos Silva, Dos Santos Silva. Wow, wow.